All right, hey, Shalom Akam. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakah, Kodash, the honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And we are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Simul, Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. And according to the Holy Scriptures, we're God chosen people. Shalom to all the brothers out there pushing his knowledge and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters and shalom to Israelite foreigners who are scattered abroad. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one Igumni called Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one Igumni called God, the one Igumni called Jehovah, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. And when you call upon the Most High and His Son, you must say Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh means he exists, the existing one. Bahashem means in the name. And Yahweh Shai means he delivers. Our Lord and Savior is coming back to deliver the elect out of the nation of Israel upon the destruction of the modern day Babylon, aka America. Alright, got this article was floating around in the Brotherhood. And I found, you know, hopped on me to uh go check it out myself. And I found an article I had to go on Duck Duck Go. It says, uh, new, the world largest particle accelerator CERN large hydron collider will begin operating at double power on March 3rd after an interval of three years, you know, symbolic 33. So when I went on Duck, Duck, Go, all right? Duck, duck, go. It says CERN particle accelerator will soon be back in full swing. The world's largest research facility will soon be back in top form. The gigantic particle accelerator at the European Organization for Nuclear Research in Geneva will, will be restarted from the end of March 2022 after a three-year maintenance break okay so you brothers should know in the, in the spirit man that the Pesach the new year the real new year comes in around that time frame and that's when we have our Pesach so when you look up the information about the CERN pretty much they open up por portals to different dimensions all kinds of crazy stuff Esau is, is uh, trying to do with this machine well, actually, Yahweh Shimei gave Shai gave him this insight to build this thing for prophecy's sake. So they could open up wormholes. They they, they trying to uh, switch uh, switch up. I mean, destroy the creation of the Heavenly Father with this thing. So there's all kind of strange shit gonna start happening, man. You might see strange creatures out here. Who knows how the Lord is gonna um, allow this thing to play out, man? But we have an insight, according to the scriptures, is going to be some horrific times, man. All right. It says, from June, proton beams will again be chased against each other at pra practically the speed of light in the 27 kilometer underground ring in order to generate collisions. Physicists hope for groundbreaking new findings. As research director Joachim Minnick of German press agent says. So yeah. Hey man, some crazy stuff about to get ready to happen, brothers. So we gotta definitely gird up our loins like men from here on out. You know, it's gonna it's gonna be a bumpy ass ride, man. You know, even though certain situations, you know, I'm in this certain situation myself kind of like unsure what the Lord doing, you don't know, man, but you just got to keep pressing forward and trust the process, you know, expect miracles, man, miraculous things to happen, you know, and that's a fact, you know, because you can't let this flesh get you to the to the point you always worry some and, you know what I'm saying, nah, man, it's a lack of faith, that's for myself first and foremost, is in Luke chapter 21, um, verse 34, it says, Take heed to yourselves 
lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with, with surfighting and drunkenness. And that's what majority of the people of this world uh, was doing the last week or so, last two weeks between the whole Christmas bullshit and the New Year's nonsense. The real New Year's comes in in the springtime. You know, that's when the, uh, our Lord and Savior was born in the springtime. And cares of this life. And so that day come upon you unawares. For as a snare shall it come on all of them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. A trap. Watch ye therefore and pray always that he may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. So the beloved brother brought this out last night and one of the chats blew, blew our minds. So when you go into NLT, Luke 21 and 36, it says, keep alert at all times, especially now, man, and pray that you might be strong enough to escape these coming horrors, horrors, man, and stand before the Son of Man. So why would I say that, man? Because that's, that's certain stuff, man. They've been tampering with the, the um, I think it was around 2015. You can find information on that. They open it up and all types of strange stuff started happening. You know, you got you to gotta look it up for yourself. So, so if you how about Shimei was shy allowed this man to do this thing next coming months, who knows what could happen, man. Shit straight, up, straight out of a sci-fi movie type ordeal, man. You might see strange creatures out here. Horrors, man. Horrific things. This ain't no fucking joke, man. So you, you think you think you're having a bad day? <laughs> you know, for my you know, little joke. Alright. This is all uh, Luke. This is Luke chapter 12, verse 37. It says, Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you, that he shall gird himself and make them to sit down to meet, and will come forth and serve them. And if he shall come in a second watch, or come in a third watch, and find them, so blessed are those servants. And this know that if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come he would have watched and not have suffered his house to be broken through be he therefore ready also for the son of man coming at an hour when he think not so that's the time frame we in man is, is a reason why Yahweh by Shimei was shy got us <coughs> doing shows on a regular basis the things are that close Things are going to get the year of 2022, the year of Yahweh by Shemuel Shah turning up. And what a way to turn up if we still here in March and, and, and the Lord allow these things to happen, man. All right. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 16 and 13. It says, Watch he stand fast in the faith, quiet like men, be strong. So when you go into the um, NLT, whatever, it says, be on guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. Starts in your mental. All right? Be strong. And um, the, the DBY says, be vigilant, stand fast in the faith. Quiet yourselves like men and be strong. Can't be, you know, losing it, man. All that shit. It happens, man. I, I was like that, you know, 24 hours ago. I had to check myself, man. Because certain situations, you're like, man, what the hell is what the hell is going on now? But you got horrific things about to happen. So what the fuck is this everyday shit, man? Hor horrific things. It's about to take place out here, man. Okay? The Lord got spirits out here. 
So, uh, you know, hypothetically speaking, the, the Lord might allow Esau to open up a fucking portal. Some fucking gigantic creatures come out that shit, man. <laughs> Who knows, man? They, they, that zombie stuff is real. You, you know, the CDC has a preparedness bill on it. You know, so we're going to see what happens. So if that shit is real, what else can happen, man? Expect the... Uh, man... Expect everything that you saw in these in these so-called movies, whatever, to be real, man. Out of this world type stuff. This is Sirach chapter 39, verse 28. There will be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In a time of destruction, the time of destruction... They pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So that in the time frame, whatever, however the Lord allowed this thing to go down, you're going to be seeing these spirits out here that are created for vengeance. Fire and hail and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. All right? Teeth of wild beasts. Hey, let your imagination run wild with that. And scorpions. And serpents. So you think there's gonna be some little, you know, little little green uh, uh, snake garden snake? No, them small ass scorpions. I I don't believe so, man. So we'll see what the Lord you know reveal in these last these coming days, man. You know, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. You know. Sword is a killing instrument, you know, monitoring guns and stuff. They shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready on earth, upon earth. When need is and when their time is come, they shall shall not transgress his word. So yeah, horrific things about to take place, man. Giving all praise y'all by Shemiah Shai. So Lord willing, each one of us brethren out here is worthy to stand, able to stand the horrific things that's about to take place out here. Shalom.